One day Max, who is the fearless wing commander, is called in to meet with a commanding officer, Frank Heslop, Jared Harris, as well as in special operations executive official, Simon McBurney. They inform Max that his wife is suspected of being a German spy. Hello guys, welcome back to Amazing Videos TV. To stay up to date with our future videos, please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified each time we post new videos. So, without any ado, let's dive into the video. At the height of World War II, in turbulent 1942, the fearless wing commander, Max Faden, lands on the desert dunes of Morocco to meet with the Parisian member of the French resistance, Marianne Boussichour. After an attempt to eliminate an elusive target during his suicide mission in the heart of Casablanca, there she helped Wing Commander Max Baden assassinate the German ambassador. They pose his husband and wife to Marianne's friends before they leave. As they drive away, Marianne compliments Max on making a convincing appearance, but she criticizes his Parisian French accent. Max and Marianne's mission is to kill the Nazi ambassador. They work on their ruse posing as a married couple by living together and trying to make their charade convincing. The two meet with the ambassador Hobart. Marianne does most of the talking as she tries to convince Hobart that Max is her French assistant. Hobart insists Max attend a party, but Max pretends he would rather play poker. Hobart challenges him to split a deck of cards. If he hits the low card, he must come to the party. Max expertly shuffles the deck and picks the low card, the outcome he desired. They continue preparing for their operation, including target practice, and pretend to be husband and wife. The two attend the party with multiple Nazi officials present. When Hover descends the stairs and speaks to the assembled guests, there is a large explosion outside. Max and Marianne seize weapons from under a table and shoot the Germans. Max wounds Hobart and then finishes him off with an expert shot to the head. Marianne kills one German when he tries to shoot her, and she nearly kills his wife until Max pulls her away. They continue shooting until they drive away. With the mission completed, Max and Marianne prepare to part ways but he invites her to join him in London where they can get married. She agrees to join him and they wed, settle down in Hampstead, and have a baby girl named Anna. Max and Marion have grown accustomed to their life as a family. They have truly fallen in love. A year later, Max get a meeting with his special operations executive. He told him that Marianne is suspected of being a German spy. The real Marianne Boussijor was a French resistance cell leader who was captured and killed by the Germans, who also wiped out her cell. She was killed in France. Her identity was assumed by the German spy and she was sent to Casablanca, where no one knew the real Marianne. And that the German ambassador they assassinated was a dissident Hitler wanted dead. In order to test their suspicions, the special operations executive run a blue dot operation. Max is ordered to write down a piece of false intelligence at home, where Marianne can find it. If the information is picked up from intercepted German transmissions, Max must personally execute her or be hanged for treason. Max is told otherwise to act normally. Defying orders, Max visits a former colleague named Guy Sangster who knew Marianne, but, blind from a wartime injury, cannot confirm her identity. He reveals that the resistance fighter Paul Delamere worked with Marianne in France and would be able to identify her. Max seeks out a young pilot named Adam Hunter, gives him a photograph and instructs him to ask Delamere whether she really is Marianne. Max's commanding officer Frank Heslop informs him that Hunter was killed while waiting on the ground for the answer. Max also hears that this whole operation might be a test, before he is given a vital job in the run-up to D-Day. Max takes the place of a Lysander pilot and flies to France to meet with Delamere, who, it transpires, is being held at the local police station. Max and the resistance break into the jail. Delamere is drunk, but remembers that Marianne was a beautiful pianist. Back in England, Max takes Marianne to a local pub, and demands she play the piano. Marianne cannot. She admits she is a spy and forwarded the blue dye message which Max left in plain view. She claims her feelings for Max are genuine and that she and her child were being threatened by German spies in London, including the woman who lives around the corner and often looks after Anna and the jeweler. Max, unwilling to kill his wife, tells her they need to leave before the special operations executive catches them. Max plans to take Marianne and Anna away. He kills the nanny and a jeweler who were her handlers, and tries to flee the country via airplane, but Heslop intercepts them before they can escape. Marianne tells Max that she loves him, asks him to take care of Anna, then shoots herself. Heslop orders the soldiers present to report that Max executed Marianne as per his orders, 
so that Max himself will not be punished. After the war, Max moves to the ranch in Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada, that was always his ambition, and raises Anna. Marion writes a letter for Anna to read when she is older. She writes how she loved her Max and the year they had together in London. Marion says that she does love him and the life they have together. Okay guys, thank you for watching the video, and I hope you found it entertaining. Did you like spy stories? If yes, let us know in the comments section and please share the video and subscribe our channel. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.